Hi, I'm Kat from the Yes Path, where we help each other to find our yes. How do we make decisions? How do we decide which path to take on this journey that we call life? We have so much power to make choices, but very often it feels like we're stuck. We're stuck in a rut or we're trapped and we just don't have any choice but to carry on the way we are doing right now. I've been a one parent family and I know what it's like to have the pressures of work, to have a boss who tells you you've got to work late, to have the nursery or the teachers saying to you, where have you been? You're late again. And you end up feeling like a failure. You end up feeling like you're just not winning on any level. So what do we do about it? How do we cope? Sometimes we just have to stay where we are for the time being. We might have a disabled relative or an elderly relative to look after. And sometimes we need to put ourselves second. We just know we have to work on that situation we're in. How about if we're in a bad relationship and we feel like we can't afford to get out? And how do we know what the difference is between somebody who's just angry and it's a cry for help and they're desperate or somebody who is abusive in a toxic relationship. Sometimes there are people who go to hospital, their lives are shattered, they are scared, they know that they don't know how to cope with it and they're not getting the treatment they want for their nearest and dearest. So they explode, they get angry, they might lose their cool and they can be labelled as abusive or even just thrown out. And all it was, was that they didn't know how to cope where they were and they took the wrong choice and they weren't tactful, they just got angry and let their feelings boil over. So how often do we stop and just try to calm down and to work out what we're feeling, to really look at the options that we have in front of us? How do we go forward? Which path do we take? There are different things that we can do. If sometimes we're in a bad relationship, how do we know the difference between whether that person is just very angry and maybe needs some help or if they are truly bad and they're going to be harmful to us? If we find we're being criticised every day if we're saying we're sorry, we're trying to change ourselves to be as good as we can to placate that person, to stuff our feelings down and put ourselves second all the time, and that person is still telling us we're no good and they're still being angry and maybe violent, is that the time to think about ourselves, put ourselves first? It has been said that we shouldn't put ourselves first, that that is selfish, but if we can't keep ourselves feeling good, it's like having a battery that's run down. We're no use to ourselves, we're no use to our families, and we won't achieve anything good or help the world. So here we are, we need to think about where we're going, what our options are, and hopefully make the right decisions. It's been great talking to you and I hope to talk to you soon.